Hello folks, welcome back. I was going to wait for it to finish loading, but notice that uh, the person we're going after, her name is Delilah Brianna Ashworth. And I can't help but think that Ashworth is someone from the first game. I'm not sure, but it seems that way. Could be wrong. Anyway, we are here in the conservatory. So let's go back. Yeah, there's uh, there's a witch over there. Um. And I thought there was another witch, but I guess not. takes care of that witch. Got her sleep dart back and now her corpse is gone. Yeah, they've got these weird swords. And they can teleport and do magic and all sorts of really annoying stuff. So we want to try to avoid alerting them. But at the same time, we want to make sure that we're not leaving anything behind. Ooh! Banana! <clears throat> so there's the oraculum. That's what we use. Alright, so let me explain what's going on here. Ashworth is up in her office. She has two hound things magic hounds <clears throat> mm, excuse me and the oraculum is a weird device and if you're doing the low chaos route you use the oraculum and that will uh, steal all our powers from her. And obviously the other option... Oh, hey, sleep darts. Good deal. The other option is, of course, to just go in there. Proverbial guns blazing. And uh, kill her. So, once again, the low chaos route is in some ways worse. Alright, so those are corpses. Whoops. Wow. Alright. That witch is dead. We got. She was, I'm not sure where, I think she was like right there, and so she teleported behind us. It's really annoying. And yeah, there's bloat flies. Yeah, this whole area is kind of annoying. So let's go ahead and grab that rune. And as you can see, the, uh, the witches are really kind of, messy. We'll also see that later on when we have to deal with a whole bunch of them. They are... they really kind of suck. And... <clears throat> you often get rotten fruit around them. Not sure why, but you do. There's a couple of them in the conservatory itself. Now, this is an annoying plant. You can just kill it. Um, when I'm not trying to be sneaky, I usually just shoot them. Well, 
like with a gun. But we don't want to make that much noise. So... There. A couple crossbows and it's done. But yeah, they're annoying. So let's go back in here. Eat some bananas. There. I'm not going to eat some lettuce. Fully healed. So, carrying on. more sisters. Just trying to remember where they are. around in here somewhere. So what we want to do is go up. So there's the oraculum. And touched by something from deep down in blood where there's no light. Someone's talking. Someone is dead grave. Both the same. But Brianna's effigy is let her reach into the mind. Into the heart. There's one. Hanging out by the oraculum. And I think there's one sitting on a chandelier somewhere. Yeah, so we got that. Uh, There's one right there. Oh, you didn't die. That's it. Hello, cat. So, um, on the ocular order. <clears throat> Here, you can read that while I drink some coffee. Throat's a little scratchy. It's Illinois, so it's, you know, extremely cold outside. And thus, it is very dry. Jundosh was tiresome. How does this even work? So we've got lenses in there that do stuff. If our mistress hears you've been oh, looking at her old journals in the fucking archives. She's going to be cross. I only had a bit of a peek. Brianna was busy with something elaborate just before Delilah came to Karnaka. I wanted to know what it was. I'm teasing Tavina. I've read it too. Do you think Delilah could have got a point of it? I've heard the same stories about Paolo the Howler. What you've heard about Paolo is not the hmm. same. He's a street boy. More about Paolo. Tricks, but I have faith Delilah could do such a thing. Coming back, it doesn't seem possible. That's all. My dear Orlando, some of the sea doors where you and I only see the wall. Oh, 
not sure where those witches that were talking are. Alright, well, they were around here somewhere. I don't want to go downstairs yet. Definitely don't want to go upstairs. We don't want to open up any of these cases yet. That's where the thingy was that we stole. So, let's see. And this is over by where we came in. So maybe we do want to go upstairs or downstairs. Upstairs, downstairs. Doo -doo -doo. Because what we want to do is we want to find, well first we are going back to the body with the, uh... well that's not it, that's a security room. We're going back to the body with the sleep darts in it to refill our sleep darts. Around here, through. Um, trying to remember where that is. That's over here. Yeah, there's a bone charm. We will find the bone charms later. Okay, that's money. We'll go pick up bone charms and runes and things. We'll do that later. Yeah, restocked. <clears throat> Alright, so... There's actually quite a bit more to the conservatory. There's a roof. And there's this lower level and upper levels. There's a fair amount. I wonder if that's... Eh, that's a window we could come in. Go ahead and rob them. Nothing much here. All right, I think we want to go upstairs for now. Because <clears throat> really, what we want to do is we want to take care of Brienne, and the rest can wait until after we've done that. So her office is up there. I don't think we want to go into her office? Uh, are there notes around here? Nope. Ocular order divided. I think we've already seen that. <clears throat> so the way it works is she's got her powers because of this thing. And because certain lenses are missing. Um, but her flunky didn't throw away the lenses, he kept them. So, I just don't remember where he put the lenses. I think they're in there. Yeah, there's a witch there. Let's see if we can't avoid her. Alright, so let's see here. 
Pindo's Passage. Okay, that's a map that's only worth money. It's not like it's a... Uh, Say hello to Falco, everybody. Bloat flies. Blood flies. Blood, blood, blood. I keep saying bloat because I've spent a lot of time playing uh, Fallout. Oops. Doink. And I guess they don't like Jasmine. Mother, would I even be in this situation if you'd lived? Uh, no. Probably not. So, we'll keep creeping around. Not so much here. Yeah, we got that over there. Alright, and, uh... Yeah, that leads to her office. We don't want to go to her office yet. Freaking hound. Well, this is going to be nice. Well, well, so much for the, uh, Yeah, well, I guess the lens doesn't matter anymore. And I guess stealth doesn't matter either. Well, fooey. <clears throat> Unfinished letter to Delilah. Uh, Connection to the void growing. Yeah, so like I said, she had a couple... Ah, autograph recordings. The old lenses. Bury them forever. Ah, uh, didn't sound right to me. Oh, they're in the workshop. All right. Ashworth's journal might tell me more about why Delilah came. Uh, I can still show how it would work. We just, oops, we just want to actually do it. C'est la vie. Hi, Delilah. As if you could ever hide your face from me, Emily. Little Black Sparrow, free from your cage at last. Brianna Ashworth is dead. Spoiled child! You had no right! Born into a silk padded cradle, you'll never understand what she meant to me. And I wonder if the implication here is that they were lovers. All the lives you've ruined? It should have been mine to begin with. Everything that's happened is wrong. Except that's it, it's not how <clears throat> it's not how royal succession works. Delilah. I welcome you to my tower. It's not how it works. Natural children don't inherit the throne. You know, maybe it's not fair, but that's you know. My fires burn within Brianna's morrow. Whatever. Yeah, I guess we can switch to this. Yeah, I'm sorry that didn't go quite as planned. Ah! Broken whalebone sword. That is a thingy that will go in our um, room. Black Bone Charm Notes. This is important. Mm -hmm. mm, right. So, 
part of how <clears throat> she's doing the freaky things that she's doing is because of uh, freaky stuff with uh, runes. Um, there will be dealing with corrupted runes later. Now, I don't know if the rest of the witches just leave because we've done all this. I'm not sure. Okay, so here's the discarded lenses. Might be linked to what Ashworth is working on. Uh, original lenses were horribly flawed. Rather than focusing the energy, they scattered them. Um, so... Uh, hello. What you would do is you would come in here. You would... Ooh, raw whalebone. Nice. Oracular Sisters. Uh, you would come in here, you would grab those lenses. Um, <clears throat> then you would take them to the Oraculum, which we will do in a minute. And you put them in the Oraculum and turn it on. Oh, wait, wait, where is that? Oh, okay. You take them to the oraculum, you turn it on. Bing, bang, boom. Uh, her powers are gone. We do not want to go through here yet. So we go back down, go over to the oraculum. Where is the oracle? It is down there. Yeah, I guess they are still here. Yeah, they're kind of annoying. Like that. Oh. It's all the teleporting. Anyway, you would put the lenses in there, turn the machine on. She loses all her power. And you have subdued her. Now let's go for you. But unfortunately... Now it's upstairs. Unfortunately, we didn't do that because we goofed. Because I got seen by a stupid dog and everything went sideways. Oh, there it is. So, oh, it's already on the upper level. All right, we gotta go up. We gotta go up. Uh, we gotta go up. So, such is life. Honestly, I wasn't sure if I wanted to kill her or strip her of her powers. I was leaning on. Unfortunately, I was leaning towards just stripping her of her powers. As that seems the meaner thing to do. But, ah oh well. So we come in here, get a black bone charm, get some food, get some money. The foreign curse! Uh, get some more money. <clears throat> yeah, there's the... Uh... 
all out here. Next is a rune over there. Looks like that's outside. Yeah, those uh, skulls, if you don't take care of them, they will come back. You can either shoot them, like I did, or slash them. Or you can pick them up and throw them. That will also work. So uh, let's go for this bone charm next. Uh, looks like it might be down a level. That is something else. That's what I want. We don't have that. Damn. Oh well, do it that way. Oh geez, there's a whole bunch of them. Is there some flammable alcohol in here somewhere? Because I don't want to burn all of my bullets. I'm down to five ball. Oh, hey. charm. Doesn't look like there's much, much else in there. Curator Ashworth's recordings. Oh, we are going to want that. Oh, right. I need to get that to uh, progress the plot. I suppose in theory using grenades instead of bullets is really kind of dumb and wasteful as far as these things go, but I use grenades so much less than I use bullets. Yeah, that's a guard. I guess they don't like the guards either. I mean, now we're back down here, so we've got a bone charm and a rune. Let's go for... Hmm, yeah, we gotta go in the basement anyway. Oh, this is the front hall. I think... I think if we came in the front door, we'd be on this level. And one of these has... this... Yeah, this one's got mines in it. Which I discovered accidentally once when I was running from... Witches, where I just smashed it 
and they detonated. I guess I can't get them. Did a number on the lights. All right. Oh, hey, look at that. Triggered housing. Rewire tool. Oh, that replaces the one we spent. Oh, hey, look at that. Two grenades. Now we're almost all caught up. Yeah, I find a lot more grenades than I ever actually use. Emily Smash! Yeah, there's a pair of dogs there. I'm sure you noticed. I guess I alerted them. Alright, so there's a room down 55, 25. Let's see, is this bone charm on this level or is it the level or is it below us? Looks like it might be below us. Ooh, hey. Yeah, give me more bullets. Give me back my bullets. I'm well, this might be like the Yeah, this is the front door. There's the cash registers we were robbing. Alright, so we got... Oh, wait. Let's see if the janitor's got anything useful. That looks like a big nope. Alright. Down we go. Pick up the head, throw it, it breaks. And you don't have to worry about it coming back. Yeah, those those hounds are a real pain in the neck. But it's not worth spending one or two thousand bucks to uh, upgrade my bolts. Uh, we've read that. Uh, they're annoying, but not dangerous. Unlike the clockwork men, who are both annoying and dangerous. So they were worth the upgrade. Uh, oh, I think this is... I think that's the guy. Uh, that uh, was hired to do the job. And now he's a corpse. <sighs> More flies. I'm gonna have to buy more bullets. Shock ma! Oh, oh, hey, look at that. All oh, right, they were bleeding. They were breeding in the wolf hound. Jerks. I was hoping that was a huge thing of raw whalebone. That'd be awesome. That'd be a treasure trove. Whoops. Reminder! The key to the archive is in the quartermaster office. I guess I already picked it up. I have no idea where the quartermaster office is. Oh. Well. Uh, there's a key there, too. 
All right, this is the recording we need to listen to to progress the plot. We will come to that in a minute. <clears throat> I just want to make sure that I got everything. Oh, look at that. There's blood flies over, blood flies over there. Okay, it looks like we have... Where did that... There it is. Looks like we've got everything. So I'll just see if there's anything worth stealing over here. And there's the rum. I always find the flammable after I burn through all my useful gear. Uh, oh, another of uh, Sokolov's books. After Delilah fell to the assassin down, her magic was lost and the coven scattered. I made a new life in Karnaka. Then I heard her whispering from the void, leading me to the there Duke, who heard those same whispers. Together we worked to bring Delilah back into the world, changing the Empire from the home of Aramis Stilton, three years ago. Across the Isles, all of us who'd been with her at Brigmore and before, we felt the magic return. Others joined, new faces, new blood. Now, Delilah is immortal, forever. She holds Dunwall. And we've turned to corrupting the oracular order. The overseers take guidance from their prophetic sisters, and soon we'll influence their dreams and visions. Okay. <clears throat> so that tells us what's going on. Delivery entrance. I think. Oh, okay. This is just another way out. Or potentially in. Of course, we're not really looking for that. We want to go... Whoops. Right, we're back outside. There's enemies afoot. Stupid blood flies are really just the worst. Yeah, well, that works too. Get to oh right, there is a uh, there's a death machine. I gotta be careful of that. Yeah, that thing's got machine guns on it. Bad. 
Oh, we've got... Okay, that went really bad. Like unfathomably bad. I don't I don't know. I'm not quite sure what I did wrong, what I did there. Um, aside from miserably screw up. Is that too much to ask? Welcome back. Welcome back. I see you found the prototype. Your acquaintance didn't make it. It is a risky line of work, I'm afraid, but let's not dwell. I expect you'll be interested in payment. First your finder's fee, of course, and if you like, I can draw up some schematics based on the prototype, something you can use to modify your tools. And as a token of my appreciation, a discount at the shop. A fair deal. There we go. What a pleasant surprise to see you again. Now we can buy supplies. So we need an excellent choice. Those, I'm certain those. you'll be satisfied I don't need with more your grenades. Purchase. Okay, on that. Spring razor, sleep so tar. Quiet since the concert, oh, no need to wrap it for you, I suppose. Burned a lot of bullets. So we're down to 29. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. Blinds enemy causes witches to flee. See, that stuns and blinds. That makes them flee. I don't really care about that. Pistol chain feeds ammo. That does sound kind of nice. Improved accuracy. But I think I need to buy all four of those upgrades, so 1,500 in upgrades. All those valuable artworks locked Never up needs in the conservatory reloading. where no one can I see might them. go for that. Truly a shame. Let's go ahead and get that. I look forward to the day Already got when that. I, uh, I don't need either one of those. And I don't really use the mines. Well, okay, let's see. Faster reload stabilizes aim. Now, we've basically bought everything we need to, so we can go ahead and splurge. Further accuracy, even faster reload. Of course, once I buy this, I'm not going to do any reloading. Which kind of sucks that I have to get the reloads. No, nah, I don't want explosive bullets. Or bouncing bullets. <laughs> Farewell. And do think of us again. I've never actually Oh wow, look at that. I got a spinny thing. I've never actually bought that upgrade before. Um. Now, the question is, is there anything worthwhile in this boat? I don't think so. Probably just some money. So, before we leave, let's make sure we got everything. Like we did. Hey, Megan. So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Emily, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things. 
but I'm not proud of. Yeah, I bet. Isn't that a requirement for citizenship? What I've got to say is not a joke. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret. You never know who to trust, do you? Everybody makes mistakes, Empress. You'll have to tell me all your secrets someday. Are you ready to leave now? Yep, I'm ready to leave. <clears throat> yes, let's go. Take me back to the Dreadful Whale. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos and Delilah. All right. <clears throat> hey, no civilians killed. Good for us. Overall chaos level high. Yeah, no kidding. Got all the runes, all the shrines. We missed two bone charms. Oh, that's because Ashworth has two bone charms on her person. And I think you need to pickpocket them or not kill her to disintegration to get them. Um, not quite half the coins. We missed two paintings. Oh, that's terrible. And we missed a blueprint. Oh, that kind of sucks too. Uh, got the best price. Yep. Talked with Delilah afterwards. Yep. Found the outpost. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Let's continue. I don't think there's an outsider thing. For several Oops. years, Delilah's been here, getting stronger, turning people against me. Why didn't I see it coming? What was I doing during that time? Pretending to listen at court, ruling through an army of bureaucrats, waiting for the next chance to get free of Dunwall Tower. Well, now I'm free. If only I could go back. Aramis Stilton was once an ally of the Duke. The owner of Karnaka's mines, Stilton lived in a fortified bunker at the heart of the Dust District. No one's seen him for years, since around the time Delilah started making her moves. But whether Stilton's alive or dead, his home holds the key to Delilah's immortality. So, yeah, we'll get into that in a minute. Oh my goodness. So there's the sword that we got. Oh, yes, cat. My cat is being very insistent. Oh, he wants attention. Well, lucky for him... Okay, let's see. That's from... Okay, so that's from the escape. That's from... I don't remember where that's from. Or the guitar. I don't remember how I got the guitar. Because in my very first playthrough, I didn't get the guitar. That's for doing the sanatorium. That's for Jindosh. That's it. So we got... There's another thing there we need to get. Anyway. Um, right. So we will pick up with the rest of this. Uh, doing this uh, interstitial stuff. We will do that next time, because we've run a little long today. So, until next time, folks, have a good one.